And joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It's somehow- Talk to him, Frost! It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. <laughs> Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. We absolutely do. But it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us. That's why we're X-Play and not Adam Play. We have done <laughs> the experiment and controlled for the variables. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens to Gerard and TBH, but that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happens to me when it does. Both things can be true, that there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam, and that all receive special flame just for being a woman. And I wish I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X-Play. Half of our producers and writers are women. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby, it goes on and on and on. Former writers that are now on ATOS like Vanessa. When you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something but you can't quite put your finger on why even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam but you have no problem with he's part of it. You're letting your unconscious biases ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for 2022, we be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Glad you're here. Um, if you're here to hear about Chile, uh, I'm not talking about Chile right now. Um, there's this, uh, like, he's disgusting. Uh, just the th thing he said earlier. Um, I don't want to think about it. But we're going to talk about something um, a little bit more uh, up my alley when it comes to nerdery, geekery. Uh, you guys may be familiar. Uh, you know, my past, if you take a look at the YouTube channel, it's mainly been gaming, uh, Pokemon, stuff like that. And then I jumped into um, this train um, with the auditors, and I'm enjoying it a lot. But I still want to make content uh, that you know I really enjoy. Um, but it pains me to do this because um, yeah, I hate to see it happen. And it's one of those things like when I was younger in uh, high school and college, you know, I used to watch this channel on TV. It was in cable called uh, G4 TV. Prior to that, it was Tech TV and I think ZD TV. Um, you know, I was a big fan of like X Play. Um, attack of the show, stuff like that. And they had a bunch of other things like trendsetters. And, um, you know, they had some pretty cool personalities. You had, like, Olivia Munn, Kevin Pereira, Adam Sessler, Morgan Webb, uh, Kayla Laley, um, all these pretty awesome people. And you actually, like, I enjoyed it. It was cool. It was fun. Um, you know, it was kind of like, and I've heard this from a bunch of people, like the ESPN for nerds. Um, it just kind of solidified... Uh, gaming and you know pop culture uh, in the public's eye a little bit better made it more mainstream and what pains me is to see that you know it you know went under and there's been multiple attempts to bring it back 
Uh, recently, uh, I think it was a couple years ago, they decided to come back uh, on YouTube uh, with some of the original cast, like Adam Sessler, uh, Kevin Pereira, which, you know, I didn't, I haven't really watched much of the Attack stuff. Um, but they got some cool people, like the guy from Completionist, and one specific person, uh, I believe her name's Frosk, Frosk or Frost. Um, she's kind of new to this. I never heard of her. I know she probably, I think she worked for, uh, the people, uh, League of Legends, maybe, uh, like an esports team. I, I, th I don't know her whole story. I never really cared to look into it, but yeah. So bringing back G4, you know, that's exciting. That was really exciting for me because, you know, I got to see my favorite people back again. Kind of made me just happy to be a gamer again, right? be a nerd to get to have one of my old channels back but it came back and things changed quite a bit as you guys know there's this political stigma going on and it's really popular on social media um you know it's either you're on the left extreme left or extreme right uh, and there's hardly any middle ground which you know i like to think i'm right in the middle but you know i i don't want to consider myself either side i you know i just like things that I like and make sense to me. Um, but we're not here to talk about politics, but we are here to talk about gender politics because this plays a big part of why I'm making this video. So G4 came out, uh, this was a while back. I think it was last year when this happened. Um, so what happened is there was, there was a, um, a show where they was talking about the Xbox and the PlayStation 5. Um, and I was talking about, you know, who's coming on top and who's not. And, you know, for the most part, people knew what they were talking about. Until it got to Frosk. And she basically made a fool of herself. And a lot of people called her out for it. Um, and, you know, she was saying PlayStation's dead in the water. Uh, no exclusive stuff like that. You know, this isn't like a game. I'm not a fanboy. I used to do the fanboy thing back in the day. Uh, nothing I'm really interested in doing now. I play games on everything. I, like, I love playing my Switch, my Xbox, my PC, PlayStation, Wii U, you name it. I've, I've got it. And, you know, I'm, as soon as we get our new place, there's going to be a big theater room it's going to be a game room and you know I'm, I'm really excited about that um but gaming's always been my passion gaming movies music uh nerdy shit and you you guys know it you might think it's sad but you know i'm a big nerd i'm an overweight neck beard that's that's who i am but i you know i like this stuff it, it makes me who i am you know if you take a look at you met me in public you'd be like man look at all these nerdy tattoos you got yeah, and I got a ton of nerdy tattoos. Um, you know, I, and I I know more about Shigeru Miyamoto than I do about Joe Biden uh, or, you know, the, the United States history, which is kind of sad if you think about it. Like, I sometimes I like to think I'm like a gaming encyclopedia. Um, you know, I, and I just keep on going through these phases where, you know, there for a while I stopped playing games for a little bit, and now I'm trying to get back into it. Um but I'm going, I'm going way out, and you know, we're, this is supposed to be about G4. But when G4 came back, they brought along with it a new mindset, uh, political mindset, uh, gender politics, uh, uh, SJW rhetoric, stuff like that. And you know, it's bothersome because you know, I, 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 to, I want to tune in to enjoy something about gaming. I don't want to be preached to about, you know, feminism, stuff like that. Feminism's not bad, okay? There, there's some of it's bad, but there's, you know, it's bad everything. And, you know, I'm not trying to downplay feminism because I'm I'm a dude. I can't really say anything, you know, I, I have no control over that. Um, that's a woman thing. But, you know, I... Uh, it sucks because um, she had an episode, um, she kind of went out, this big tirade... Uh, on the core audience of G4, pretty much saying, hey, um, I'm not as bangable as Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb, which I don't care. I, I, I'm not watching you for your looks. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not pretty myself. But if you, you're being kind of hypocritical, if you go back to the history of G4, uh, Layla Kaylee, uh, fucking Morgan Webb, um, Olivia Munn, 
you know, they would walk around in skimpy outfits, uh, do sexually suggested things. They were eye candy for nerds. I mean, that's why they came. That's why they was on there, right? You can't say that's not true because you know it's just hypocritical. I mean, she kind of went off like, you know, I'll put a clip. Um, I, I'll include a clip of what was said. Um, and she attacked the whole audience and basically said, "Hey, um, you guys suck. Um, all you guys are." Uh, misogynist pigs, basically, and fuck you, and uh, don't watch her stuff. Then she got backed up by Blair Herter, which was the VIP, Adam Sessler, which I lost a lot of respect for Adam Sessler because of some of the things he says. When uh, I, did, I didn't realize, I knew Adam was, you know, super liberal. I didn't know how bad it was. And like I said, it's not a bad thing if you're liberal, and I don't really care. But one of the things he said was he hopes that the conservative Republican people and his family would die. Uh, he would shit on just anybody that's a Republican and doesn't follow his, uh, you know, thinking. Which, you know, I I don't like that. Uh, politics, like, you know, I know people that's super big into politics. They want to make that their sole purpose in life is being political, which is stupid. Um, you know, there's nothing worse than talking about... Uh, politics and religion to somebody. I just can't really do it. It fucking sucks. Uh, especially like the SG, SJW stuff. Um, you know, it's just gone too far. It's basically, and I know what you're saying. You're a white man. Yeah, I am a white man, but you know, I'm not a racist, sexist, homophobe, transphobe, none of that. And I know there's going to be like people projecting, oh, you're white. So therefore you're not with us. You are bigot. You are orange man, bad guy. You know, fuck off with that shit. And really, for real, uh, we're here to talk about G4 and gaming. We're, we're here to talk about bad auditors. We're talking about bullies, talk about mental health, talk about gaming. Uh, that's kind of why we're here. Um, but it was sad to see that happen to uh, a big show that I really loved, like a big channel. Um, and, you know, I'm not the only one that thinks this. You know, I was excited uh, they would have E3 coverage every year. You know, I was excited about that. I really enjoyed everything uh, Adam Sessler would say. I, I loved his stuff. And, you know, just to see him attack people, uh, see him go this route with Frost and the whole G4 TV crew, uh, it's really sad, which the bad thing about it, after that happened, ratings start going downhill. Uh, you know, and just this week, uh, there was major layoffs within G4. A lot of people lost their jobs. And uh, fucking Frost says on Twitter, says something, posts a meme, says, I survived, let's play video games. She survived a layoff. She didn't get laid off, but all of her coworkers got laid off and she was doing this tone death fucking thing where she's high and mighty and bragging about not losing her job. How fucking stupid are you? You already have a lot of people that hate you. You don't need to make it even worse. It is it is what it is, but you're doing it wrong. And it doesn't matter what I say. I'm just a neckbeard white guy uh, saying something to somebody that's, you know, pure trash, like a fucking crazy person. Uh, you know, I, I I can get fucking crucified for talking about it because the first thing they're going to be, oh, you must be transphobic. You must be... Uh, uh, a misogynist, you must be a homophobe, you must be a racist. No, I'm a human being that believes in, you know, like people should fucking have equal rights and be happy and marry and do whatever the fuck they want. Uh, unless it's like hurting people, murdering people, taking people's money, in which we talk about people all the time that does this shit. Um, but you know, Frost, it's like you're never going to see this, obviously, it's not going to happen, but. You pretty much, you, Adam, and, you know, a lot of these people that brought in this SJW rhetoric into G4, that's the downfall of the channel. It's over at this point. A lot of people lost their jobs because, you know, they just wanted to come to work and not have to do sh this kind of shit. Now there's people that's going to be unemployed, not going to be able to pay their rent because you decided to be a fucking idiot. Isn't that sad? Isn't that fucking sad? 
you know, I don't want somebody to lose their job unless, you know, they're obviously deserves it, you know, unless they really deserve that. You know, I don't wish that on anybody. It's not fun being in an unemployment line. It's not. It's not fun signing up for food stamps and Medicare and all that stuff and worrying where you're going to live, signing up for affordable homes. You know, that stuff's there because it helps people. But, you know, it still sucks to be that low. And, you know, I might be thinking of the too extreme, but it is true. These people are losing their jobs and you're basically bragging about this shit. Uh, and it's sad to see G4 go down the road uh, like the Dodo. It's, you know, it, it's it's horrible. Uh, I wanted G4 to succeed. I wanted, uh, I you know, I was subscribed to the channel until after all that shit happened and I unsubscribed. I haven't really watched it since. Um, and, you know, there's some other controversies. Um, it comes around with other members of the G4 crew, uh, which I'm not really going to get into because you can actually look at that stuff um, you can find out anywhere, but guys, it had, I mean, did you guys like G4 before when, you know, when it was out, did you guys, was you guys excited about G4 coming back? Uh, what do you think now? What, what do you think about the whole, this, uh, gender politics, SJW rhetoric and mainstream media? Um, you know, this isn't a matter of, are you on the left or right? Uh, this is just taking things too far, uh, canceling, all this stuff, it's, it's dumb, it's really dumb, like, and just because you don't follow that rhetoric, just because you not, hey, stand for it, and you just decide to stay on the sideline and mind your own business, does not mean you're a bigot or a racist, sexist, homophobe, trans, doesn't mean that at all, you're just a human trying to do what you do, um, and I, you know, I would recommend that, I, you know, I would recommend you just be you, um, but yeah, I'd like to know what you guys think. Uh, what do you guys think about G4 leaving? Um, what was your favorite memories of G4 when it was available? Um, yeah, I'd like to know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Sorry about uh, my <laughs> stuttering because you guys know I do that a lot. But uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you soon.